So, I want you to understand how you can learn in these dimensions. I told you about four dimensions right. So, how do you learn within each dimensions? I will make it simple for you very simple you take q time steps what are they there are only four steps you have to acquire something to start learning in different dimension acquire that is the first step and then begin begin to know what you have acquired and then connect connect with what you have acquired and connect with those people who know something more about what you have acquired right and then discover discover what discover the achievements discover what you can achieve in life let us take go back and take the scrabble uh, game what do you acquire there letters right and what do you begin to do you begin to place those tiles on the board to make words right. So, how do you make those words you connect what do you connect you connect letters you whatever you, you get those letters randomly I tell you every day is a new day every day is random you do not think Oh, yesterday is going to be exactly like you know today and today is going to be exactly like tomorrow every day is different. So, every tile that you get is different every time you play the game it is different. So, when those tiles are connected ok you discover new words every day next time when you play the game you have a different word discovered. So, to learn in Q time or learn in the quadrants of this time which is trust innovation methods and efforts you need only four steps like the scrabble game four steps acquire begin connect and discover. So, whenever you are thinking about q time learning think scrabble game ok and think the steps that you have to go through and then start learning start learning in every dimension of q time. Okay, let us go to that little thing. So, this is the q time steps acquire, begin, connect, discover this goes on a cyclical process it never ends do not ever think at the end of uh, oh acquired I have begin to do this and I have done this I have discovered that a new game starts ok. When the new game starts it is totally a new thing for you it is like a new day. So, your learning never stops. So, just because you got a diploma today tomorrow you can do something else, but Q time learning is happening on a continuous basis on a cyclical basis in four dimensions what are there there to the to your right trust innovation methods and efforts. So, you are continuously learning in those dimensions by going through these steps are you with me on that. So, this is a very important concept the q time steps you can remember them as a b c d you know a for acquire b for begin c for connect and d for discover and time time is never nobody can forget time right. So, time is always there with you. So, this time is called trust innovation methods and efforts. So, as long as you take this q time steps in these dimensions you have started q time learning the essence of the q time learning is to take you your take your understanding to a totally a different level. So, once you understand the subject you can answer any kind of questions asked about the subject because you have gone through that process without missing anything and passing exams and scoring high things it becomes a routine stuff like you get up in the morning out of your bed and start walking around it becomes as simple as that you do not have to have fear of exams anymore. So, this is important, but you have to be committed to do this. So, let us see what that uh, thing really drives everything. So, the driving dimensions of q time learning is the first trust dimension if you have a lot of trust 
you know you are confident of yourself you know what can be achieved but how do you how do you get that trust how do you how do you learn to get that trust you have to go through the steps here first step is to have the self trust self trust is very important you have to be confident of yourself doesn't matter whatever you know you are you have to develop that a atma vishwasa antara kannadalli that thing has to develop from within you so know yourself so once you have the self trust the next level is the group trust what is group trust the friends you mingle with the workers you work with the passengers other passengers you travel with certain distance you trust somebody like you know you go to, you get into a train right you you leave your things stuff hey please look after that i'm going to just have a coffee and come back he's total stranger so how do you trust that person because you have they talking to the person for some time you develop that you know mutual understanding oh he's a good person he doesn't cheat you i know cheat you with anything else and you no know, you do all that right so that is important so once you have the self trust of what you are capable oh, okay even if this person wants to take my stuff away i can stop him that's the self trust you have so if you have that the group trust goes on so we go to that level so organization trust is something uh, uh, one step above that so you have to believe that if i have joined this polytechnic college or this college in here i can learn these things you have to trust the organization that you are in so if you don't have that trust you will not be able to really understand what that organization can offer you what that college can offer you will not know you have to go after getting it so once you have that you know that the next level is societal trust the society around you the community around you they will all come to your help when you are falling behind they come to your help because you are developed the trust it starts from you from the group you go around with and the organization you study and the society you belong to when that happens you establish a trusted professionalism but how do you go about doing this you go through my abcd steps q time steps right acquire begin connect and discover you have to go through that so once you have or established a trusted professionalism whatever work you do will become magnified 100 times for people to see that and they start respecting the kind of work you do they trust you as a electrician they trust you as a person automobile expert because you tell them what you can do and you deliver what you have told them nothing less nothing more they believe you they trust you so this is a learning in trust dimension the learning happens to learn in four areas four quadrants again the four of them are self trust group trust organization trust and societal trust so when these learning happens in these four quadrants you have established a trusted professionalism what is the next dimension innovation and what is there why is it there why is the dimension is there that dimension is there for you to achieve innovation proficiency but what are the steps there what are the quadrants you go through that first you have to unlearn lot of things are is like a you know like garbage in the thing and is dumped on you you have to really know whether the things that you have acquired from your elders from parents from whosoever it is is it really applies to the current time the time you live in right now does it apply now hey look at this earlier days i used to live by a telephone which is hung on the wall with a 2 meter 2 uh, feet 3 feet you know like wire and i had to go around you know like talking to everybody over the phone i mean nowadays who wants it everybody has a mobile phone right so i don't need to worry about earlier days everything dialing you know you should really 
use all your fingers to dial those numbers and if you miss it you do not know what numbers are, but you can see what numbers you have dialed right now you can correct it. So, who you know that automatically some new learning sometimes automatically replaces the old learning, but sometimes it does not because if some learning is you know very ingrained and be with you like a habit it is very difficult to unlearn and some oh it is a bad habit people say well you have to unlearn that okay but then you have to relearn what is relearning the future is in front of you you hear news oh tomorrow i'm going to get this uh, a new uh, what you call a uh, uh, process with which i can do these things much faster you know about it today it doesn't happen yet but people are going to give it to you so you have to prepare for that so you have to relearn what the future is going to bring tomorrow you can't just live with today's learning and once you unlearn and relearn you have to live in the present and rebrand yourself rebranding is you know you are you are showing the people what you are capable of doing but unless you unlearn and relearn you will not be in the stage to show people what you are capable of doing right so it's rebranding and when you rebrand yourself you have to resource you you you, you cannot just simply today i'm going to work with the old flip top phones right you know like you have got a smartphones nowadays you while you are talking to person hey let us meet at this restaurant uh, let us have our uh, uh, dinner and then you know they say okay no no we will go there so you have a smartphone you, you can look at all the things and what restaurant is good bad it's just like that so you can uh, you know source yourself with the different uh, phones and some completely do something differently so you achieve the innovation proficiency in the matter of minutes in a matter of days sometimes so you have to understand the innovation proficiency comes with the mindset of unlearning relearning rebranding and resourcing that is important so this is again go through the process of q time steps acquire begin connect and discover that's how you achieve the innovation proficiency so it's like you know you think this uh, like accordion you know learning accordion is, you know shrinks and expands and what so the past shrinks as it becomes distant okay what happens 40 years back is distant so whatever you have learned 40 years back unlearning becomes a necessity understand that and future is near okay it is it is your your uh, bounded the thing is you know like slowly getting filled up by what the future can offer you right so it's expanding the future is nearing it's expanding your knowledge so past is shrinking unlearning has to happen the future is nearing it's expanding the present then becomes the one to live and how do you live the present you rebrand and resource and how do you do that it's a learning on everyday basis what does it mean it's a continuous learning and it's a cyclical learning as the day changes